Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. How many of you are glad that the Lord is making a way for us? In spite of all that we're going through, in spite of all that we're facing, I know that he's going to continue to make a way for us.
I don't know how, but you did it. I don't know why, but I'm grateful. 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 Don't know why, but I'm grateful. And we're standing here only because you made a you you made a way you you made a way how many are glad he made a way you you made don't know how but you did it i don't know why but i'm grateful i don't know why but i'm grateful i don't know why but i'm grateful and we're standing here only because you made because you move mountains You cause the walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing impossible. And we're standing here only because you made. you know he moves mountains he moves mountains amen in your life if you know and you believe it just say it to yourself i seen a move you move the mountains and i believe i'll see him do it again you made a way when there was no way and I believe I'll see him do it again. I'll see him do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I've seen him move. You move the mountains. And I believe I'll see him do it again you made a way when there was no way and i believe i'll see him do it again i'll see him do it do it again do it again your promise still stands this is my confidence, confidence. I'm still in your hands. Great is thy faithfulness, faithfulness. We're still in your hands. This is my confidence. You. Never fail me yet, and I never will forget. I see you move, you move the mountains, and I believe I'll see you do it. see him do it again 
bless the Lord on tonight. Come on, give him praise and glory. If you know he made a way for you, if you know he did it once, he can do it again. If he did it twice, he can do it three times. Oh, he made a way out of no way. Amen. Come on, worship the Lord out there. Wherever you're at, in your homes, watching TV, in your living room. Oh, God, amen. In your bedroom, worship the Lord right now. Give him praise and glory. Worship him, for he's worthy of all our praise. Amen. We thank the Lord once again, amen, for him making a way for us to be here one more time to worship and serve the Lord. Amen. Bow your heads with me as I go into a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight, today, oh God. We thank you for everything that's been said and done. We thank you, oh God, because you're a good God and you're worthy to be praised. Lord, we ask you right now to bless this service. Let your glory fall in the house, oh God. Save the living and set free, oh God. Touch somebody, Lord. Lift every bow down head. Oh God, lift every feeble knee, oh God. Strengthen, oh God. Give us power to make it through, oh God. Lord, we pray right now that this service will go out to many, that many will be delivered, that many will be healed, that many will be encouraged, oh God. We ask you right now, oh God, to bless our leaders, oh God. Give them strength and power in these last and evil days. Give them vision for your people, oh God. Give them longevity, oh God. Strengthen them, oh God, that we may help us, oh God, to hold their hands up, oh God. Now, Lord, we ask you, Lord, get in the preach word on tonight. Every song, oh God, anoint your word. Let it come forth with power and clarity in the name of Jesus. Everybody say amen. 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 Get your Bibles. Amen. At this time. Amen. We want to. Amen. Get into the word of the Lord. Amen. Scripture reading for your hearing. Psalms chapter 70. And we're going to read all five verses. One through five. That's Psalms chapter 70 beginning at verse one through five. And it reads as follows. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seeketh after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for reward of their shame that says, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say, Continually let God be magnified, but I am poor and needed. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord. Make no tarry. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word for education of our souls. Amen. Amen. How many of you are grateful for his righteousness? Amen. Lamentations 3 and 21. Just remember that he always is there for us no matter what we've done, what we face. He is a forgiving and he is a loving God. Never left me alone, 
but you forgave me and you kept on blessing me this i recall to my mind therefore i have hope it's because of your mercy that we are not consumed because thy compassions fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness you You've been, Lord, you've been so faithful. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. You turned my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weakened. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. You turned my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. You've been, Lord, you've been so faithful. You've been, Lord, you've been so faithful. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. You turned my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. You've been, Lord, you've been so faithful. You've been, Lord, you've been so faithful. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord out there. Come on and bless the Lord. If you've been faithful to you, come on, give him praise and glory. Clap your hands right where you are and give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. He's been faithful. Amen. He's a faithful God. Amen. If you be faithful, amen, over little things, he'll make you rule over many. Amen. We praise the Lord. Amen. For those songs. Amen. At this time, amen, we're going to go into the part of the service where everyone and all can participate. It's offering time unto the Lord. Amen. That's what we say around here at Full Gospel, and we get excited about it. Amen. Because we love to give. We would like to encourage you to give here this evening. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. Today, or this evening, our media team has provided slides to govern you in your giving this afternoon. Nevertheless, we want to invite you to go to our website, AnistonFGHT.net. That is AnistonFGHT.net. A-N-N-I-S-T-O-N. Aniston. FGHT.net. In the top right hand corner, you will see a button that states give. Once you click on that tab, options will begin to pull up. 
thank you again, and may God smile upon your sacrifice. Amen. So you can give it this time. Amen. We praise the Lord. Amen. The slide is up on the screen. Amen. The different options of giving. And we appreciate and thank you for your giving. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. We're going to, amen, bow our heads and we're going to bless the offering and move further. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this offering. We thank you for the ones that gave, oh God. We thank you for the ones that didn't have to give, oh God. We, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bless them and pour them out a blessing they will have not have enough room to receive. In the name of Jesus, we pray this. Let the church say amen. Amen. At this time, let's come down to the most important part, and that is the word of God. And we got, amen, a woman of God coming forth. Clap your hands for Sister Yonder Gaines as she comes. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God. Give God some glory, some honor, and praise that he deserves on tonight. Glory to God. For our God is great. Our God is strong. Our God is mighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he's worthy of every praise that we can give unto him. Glory to God. Glory to God. The sister song, Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Glory to God. His mercies are new every morning. Glory to God. It's not promised to us, but great is his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for my being here. I thank God for being saved, sanctified, and filled with his precious Holy Ghost. I thank God for my precious leaders on tonight, Bishop Macy Carr and Evangelist Lana T. Carr. Amen. I thank God for our overseers, Apostle Herman Murray Jr. and Lady Danielle Murray, and also for our founding mother, Dr. Shirley Murray. Glory to God. And I just thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Glory to God. You know, I know Everybody is dealing with a lot of different things, glory to God. You know, with everything that's going on in the world on this evening, you know, we know so many have lost loved ones, glory to God. But I'm a witness that God is a lifter up of your head, glory to God. All you got to do is trust and lean and depend on him, and he will lift up your head, glory to God. He will give you comfort, and he will give you strength. Hallelujah. And glory to God, we're just going to go on into the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to take my time on this evening. Glory to God. I'm going to do just a little bit of reading on tonight. Uh, I, I wanted to do more, but I said I can't do God's people like that. Amen. <laughs> glory to God. But we're going to go to the book of Daniel, a very familiar story. Uh, we're going to go to the third chapter verses 14 through 24. Again, that's the book of Daniel, the third chapter, verses 14 through 24. Amen. And it reads, Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God? that shall deliver you out of my hands. Now, y'all Bible readers, y'all should know that it's a terrible thing to question who is God. Glory to God. We know that uh, Pharaoh, <laughs> he learned his lesson about questioning who is this God. Glory to God. So uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, 
is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we would not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to king, True, O king, and I'm sorry, we're going to 25 also. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Glory to God, and if I was to take a title on tonight, it would be there's another in the fire. Glory to God, there's another in the fire. And I just want to encourage you that you're not alone, that God is with you. Amen. And just a little background about what is going on, what has taken place, what has led up to this moment. Glory to God. Nebuchadnezzar, he had besieged, he had took over Jerusalem, and he wanted certain children of Israel, um, of the king's seed. He wanted children with no blemish, well-favored, good-looking, skillful in all wisdom, cunning in knowledge, understood science, and that they had the ability to stand in the king's palace. Someone that they could teach. Glory to God. So he was looking for the best of the best. He wanted those that could stand out. You know, when we are the children of God, we stand out. We look good. We talk good. Glory to God. And those are the people that, that uh, Nebuchadnezzar wanted from Israel. And amongst them were chosen and given these names were Daniel, which was given the name as Beltesh Belteshazzar, uh, Hananiah, which was given the name Shadrach, Mishael, which was given the name Meshach, and Azariah, that was given the name Abednego. During their time in Babylon, God showed up mighty and strong on their behalf. And that same God that showed up for Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego, he's the same God that will show up for us today, glory to God. And the king, he provided daily provisions of, the, of his meats, the wine that he drank, and he was doing this for Three years because he wanted them to be able to stand before the king. But Daniel, he purposed in his heart that they were not going to eat the king's meat. They weren't going to drink his wine. And Daniel found favor with the eunuch that was appointed over them. And he struck a deal with him and told him, give us our vegetables. Give us our water, the things that we're used to. And after 10 days, if we look bad, if we don't look like the others that are eating the king's meal, he said, we'll eat whatever you want us to eat. And glory to God, but after those 10 days, they, countenance was fairer and fatter than those that ate at the king's meat. And now they were in the king's court. How many know there's another in the fire? Glory to God. Now, Nebuchadnezzar, he made a golden image. And he, he made a commandment that when you hear the cornet, when you hear the flute and the heart and all of these kinds of music, you fall down and you worship this image. Now, Shadrach and Meshach they ref and Abednego refused to bow and worship. 
and they refused to bow and worship because they knew who their God was. They knew how their God has, had delivered them, had delivered Israel, had brought Israel up out of Egypt, glory to God. They heard of the stories about how he had parted the Red Sea, glory to God, and allowed them to escape out of Pharaoh's hand, glory to God. They heard about how he provided uh, food in the wilderness, glory to God. They heard about their God, so they who knew who their God was. And even in the midst of being in a strange land, they chose to keep the commandments of God and not of man. But they knew where their help come from. And he, these times, we must know where our help comes from. We can't get weary and we can't bow down to the enemy. But we have to look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, and know that he is our very present help. In the time of trouble, glory to God. How many know that there's another in the fire, glory to God? Hallelujah. And the word got back. You know, there's always somebody out there watching. Always somebody out there looking, trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> always somebody, glory to God. And there was one that saw that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that they were not bowing down when the music began to play. And they began, and he went back and told old Nebuchadnezzar that the, these Hebrews, they're not worshiping, they're not bowing down and worshiping like you commanded them to do glory to God. And, but, and the king asked them, he said, is this true? Now, you already received words, so you already know that it was true. And he said, but if you choose not to worship, in the same hour you shall be cast into the midst of the burning fire. And if I do this, who is this God that can deliver you out of my hands? See, the king thought that he could intimidate and bully them. And see, that's what the enemy, he tries to do. He tries to intimidate and he tried to bully the, the saints of the most high God, glory to God. He tried to bully us and intimidate us to get us to bow down and worship him by wanting to give us ultimatums. Either you do this and do that, or I'm going to take this away from you. Or I'm going to remove this away from you. Glory to God. But we have to know, glory to God, that if God be for us, that he is more than the whole world against us. And that we don't have to be intimidated by the enemy. Glory to God. And they begin to respond, oh, king, we have no reason to respond to you in this matter. There's no reason for us to have to anything to say. We don't need to respond back to you because if it be so, our God whom we serve, he is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he would deliver us out of, our, out of your hand. And we must know that our God is able, whether he do it or whether he don't do it, we have to know that our God, he is still able, glory to God. We've got to know that our God, that he is with us, even in the midst of the fire, glory to God. We have to stand on his promises. He said that he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us, that he would be with us even unto the ends of the earth, glory to God. So we have to stand and know who our God is and know that he won't forsake us, even in the midst of the fire, even when the enemy come up against us, even when he want to give us ultimatums, want to give us choices that we have to make that he know that is going to go against the word of God. We have to stand on God's word knowing that he is our great deliverer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the book of Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, he, the Lord began to speak and he began to tell them, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. See, we have no reason to fear, glory to God. We have no reason to fear about what man can do to us because our God is with us. He is our Savior. He said he is the one that redeemed us. And if God is the one that redeemed us, we have no reason to fear or worry about what it is that man can do. Glory to God. He said that we are his. Hallelujah. We belong to God. And the Bible said that we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. And he said that when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. 
Nazareth, the Savior, glory to God. He is our Savior. He's the Holy One of Israel, glory to God. And he said that he will be with us even through the fire, glory to God. He said we won't be burned. Glory to God, they may throw us in the fiery furnace, but we shall not be burned. He said it won't come now unto thee, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we have no reason to fear. What man can do, what man may say, or what he may what may be going on around us. We got to know that who we belong to. We belong to the Almighty God. Glory to God. The Bible could declare that we belong to Him. He has redeemed us. It is He that has formed us. Glory to God. We couldn't do it ourselves. We couldn't save ourselves. We couldn't deliver ourselves. But it was God that redeemed us. It was God that picked us up out of the muck and miry clay. Glory to God. And if He is with us, then nothing can harm us. Glory to God. Nothing can come against us. Glory to God. Because He said He is with us through the fire, through the flood. Glory to God. There's another in the fire. Tell your neighbor there's another in the fire. There's another in the fire. He's walking there walking with you. He's talking with you. He's keeping you. He's protecting you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And because we are his, he's in the fire with us. We shall not be burned. We shall not suffer loss. Glory to God. He said when you go through the water, he's there. Through the rivers, he's there. Through the fire, he's there. We won't be burned because he's our God, a mighty deliverer, a strong tower. He's our refuge, our God. In him shall we trust, glory to God. So the Hebrew boys, they were bound up with everything gone. And because the fire was hotter than normal, the orders that were given, uh, those that were ordered to put them into the fire, they were consumed, glory to God. But the Bible said that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they fell down bound in the fire. And the expectation was that these boys would have been immediately destroyed. But the God that, that Nebuchadnezzar questioned, remember he asked, who is this God? Who is this God that should deliver you out of my hands? God showed up and showed him who he was. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Nebuchadnezzar, glory to God, began to ask. He said, didn't we throw in three men? He said, I thought we put in three. He said, but I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. They have no hurt. He said it in Isaiah. He said, when you go through the fire, he said, no harm going to come to you. You shall not be burned. And the Bible said that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had no hurt. Neither were their clothes singed, glory to God. And just like God kept them, God, glory to God, God will keep you, hallelujah, because there's another in the fire with you, glory to God. There's another in the fire that is keeping you, glory to God. There's another in the fire that is sustaining you, glory to God. David said, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, glory to God. So I will fear no evil, because there's another in the fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So hold on. Say to God, hold on. Don't you bow. Don't you bend. Don't you throw in that towel. Don't you lose hope. Glory to God. Because God is right there with you. He won't leave you. Wait on the Lord. Be of a good courage. I hear the Lord tell Joshua. Joshua, have not I commanded thee to be strong and of a good courage. Neither be thou dismayed, for I am with you wherever you go. I am with you even in the fire. I am with you. Glory to God. So hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on. Don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. Hold on. I hear David say, I would have fainted except I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But I said, wait on the Lord and he will incline to you. So I waited patiently on the Lord. Hallelujah. Because there's another. Hallelujah. Glory. There's another in the fire. You're not alone. God is with you. You're not alone. God is with you. He is keeping you alive. Hold on. Don't you give up. Hold on. Don't you give up. He got you covered. He got you covered. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I hear the Bible says, Has thou not heard? Has thou not known that the everlasting God, the Creator, though he does not faint, neither does he serve. But oh my God, there's no searching of his understanding. He gives strength to those that have no strength. Hallelujah. He said even the young men shall utterly fall. Oh, but they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run, not be weary. They shall walk and not fall. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I just want you to know that God is with you. That there is another in the fire. Glory to God. There's another in the fire. Hold on, saints of God. Don't you throw in that towel. You hang on to it. You put your hands in the hands of the man that steals the water. Glory to God. You hold on to Jesus. Glory to God. He's right there. He's right there with you. Glory to God. He won't leave you nowhere. He forsake you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hold on. There's another in the fire. Glory to God. Just want to encourage you that there's another in the fire. That you're not in this by yourself. Glory to God. That God is right there with you. And he's keeping you. Glory to God. And he's protecting you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God, just hold on and stay right there. God is going to, he will see about you. He will see about you, glory to God. Glory to God, he will keep you and he will sustain you, glory to God. No matter what it is that's going on around, God is still a keeper, hallelujah. We got to look back and remember how when the plagues and everything that God did to Egypt, glory to God, it didn't come now to the children of Israel, glory to God. And if we be the people of God, hallelujah, he'll keep us the same, glory to God. Hallelujah. And there was a scripture that I read earlier that said that if you be followers of that which is good, who is it that can harm you, glory to God? As long as we follow after Jesus Christ, follow after that which is good, there is nothing that can harm us. No man it is that can harm us, glory to God. So be encouraged that you're not in this alone. But that there's another in the fire, glory to God. Hallelujah. It may be somebody out there on tonight, glory to God. You may not know God as your personal Savior. You may not know him as your deliverer, glory to God. You may be saying, well, I don't know that he's in the fire with me, glory to God. But he can be, glory to God. If you accept him as your personal Savior on this evening, glory to God. 
the Bible declares that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God rose Jesus Christ from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved, glory to God. And if that's you on this evening, glory to God, I want to ask you just lift up your hands and surrender your heart, glory to God, and just repeat these words, Lord, forgive me, oh God, for I am a sinner, and I understand that I'm a sinner, and I understand that I need you in my life, oh God. God, I ask that you save me. I ask that you deliver me, and I ask that you fill me with your Holy Ghost, and I will live for you for the rest of my life. And God, we ask that you look down upon those on tonight, oh God, those that may have a bow down head, oh God, those that may be in the midst of the fire, oh God. Lord, let them know that you're right there with them, oh God. Give them comfort, give them strength, oh God, and keep them, oh God. In your son Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Call the name of Jesus, he is our Savior. Call the name of Jesus, he is our provider. Call the name of Jesus, he is our healer. Oh, 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 call the name of Jesus, he is our healer, call the name of provider call the name of Jesus he is our protector oh Jesus, he is our protector, call the name, call the name, he is our provider, Jesus, he is our protector. 